Hey guys, I'm Danny, your friendly neighborhood colorist. And in this video, we are going to be doing a commercial grade. Seems like I've been doing a new commercial grade video every year. It's becoming a tradition. So this year, I will be doing the commercial grade with my visionary power grades. So if you haven't checked that out yet, please do so with the link above. And same as always, the test footage is available in the link below. So shout out to Jim and Joe Productions for allowing us to use this footage for practice. So let's get into the video. So I have the clip here in my color page and this is my Pro Note 3 in my Visionary Power Grades pack. So you can use the pack directly or you can also set it up for yourself. So this clip was shot in Sony s 3. So the first thing we have to do is the CST out. So if you remember in my Note 3 video, I don't like to use the Winchy White gamut when I'm grading s 3 because it gives a bit of weird results. So I'm going straight into my CST out. Let's turn it on and then check for safety. Sony s 3, Gamut 3 Cine to Rec. 9 Gamma 2.4. So that's good. So our clip is converted into the right color space and it's looking pretty okay. In my highlights, it is by default turned on. You can turn it off and on to see whether it's helping out with the image or if it's not. If it's not, then you can just turn it off. In this case, I feel that it's quite helping a bit to soften out the image without blowing out the highlights. And next, I have my primaries. So right now, the next best action that I can take is that I'm feeling it's a little bit green on this area. So I'm going to address that in my primaries because that's where I do all my correction. So I'm going into my tint and then just raising it up until I feel that it's more or less white. So I think tint plus 10 should do it. Although it's a little bit green still, but I'm going to address that later on because I don't want to affect her skin too much. So another thing that I'm seeing that I want to adjust is maybe the brightness. We can lift it up a little bit. Let's go into my gain and then I'm going to drag it up. Let's brighten up the image. Okay, I think this is pretty good. So I don't want it to go overblown so I can look at my waveform over here to make sure everything is uh, in the range that it's supposed to be. So my shadows are a little bit lifted but that's the way I like it. So yeah, I'm going for a very airy, very light kind of image. So I think that's all the correction that I'm going to do for now. And as for HSV saturation, I'm also not going to add any additional saturation because that's going to make the whole image looks denser which is not what I want. So we are going to push it to a very light and very commercial kind of look. So next I'm going into my skin. So let's turn that on and if I turn on my highlight mode with shift H you see that by default it's already selecting her skin. Although her head scarf is a little bit selected but I don't mind that because, because all I'm doing in this note is just a bit of mid-tone detail softening. So I'm not adjusting the colors at all. That's why even if her head scuff is selected, I don't have to go in and re-qualify the note. But I can do that if I want to. Just to save time, I'm not going to do it. So next, I'm going into my hue. So I'm still noticing a little bit of green in this gray area over here. So what I'm going to do in my hue node is to go into the hue versus saturation and then go into the green areas and drop it down. So you can see by dropping that down, it helps quite a lot to remove the green. Let's go with a wider selection. Move it across just like that. Let's move this across here. And if I turn it on and off, there's a slight improvement to removing the greens. So that's something that I would like to do. So this is one of the ways that you can also remove colors without affecting the skin tone as a whole. All right, so next I'm going into my vignette. Let's see if this clip needs a vignette. I'm not really feeling the vignette because I want a very bright 
look. So I'm just going to turn off the vignette and relight. Does it help? Yes, it helps a bit. So I'm going to leave it on and relight R, which is the right side. Yes, it also helps a bit. And I'm going next into my focus node, which is to focus on the subject. So I have my focus node here. The subject is obviously her face and it's a little bit too bright. So let's go into the gain and then let's drop it down just a bit. So this focus node is best to not make it too obvious so that your audience don't actually see that there's a window over there. So if I turn it on and off, it's off, on, it's still a bit too obvious. So I'm going to drop down the gain even more to maybe 1.07 something like this and try to make it as soft as possible so that it does it gets unnoticeable all right off on yeah i think right around here is pretty good okay something like this then i'm going into my tracker and then track for forward and backward so it's quite a short clip so that can get a very nice tracking of her face right there so that you can guide the viewer's eye to her face a bit more so let's see that with off and on yep it's definitely helping a bit so i'm going to leave that on and once i'm done with that i'm going into my curves and then same thing let's just turn it on and off see if it helps with anything it's not much, but if you take a look at the waveform over here, it's softening out the highlights a little bit, which I do kind of prefer. So I'm just going to leave that on and moving on to details. All right. So in my details node, all I'm doing is in the blur radius, I'm dropping it down to sharpen the image. But I don't really want to sharpen this image. I want it to look very soft. So what I'm going to do is reset the detail node. And then go into my mid-tone detail and drop it down. So by doing this, I can get a very soft overall look. So it's not just to her skin, it's to the whole image. So off and on, you can see that it softens out everything. So for a commercial like this, I think this technique is suitable. Or if you're doing something like a Korean drama, when you want everything to be very soft, then this mid-tone detail softening might be a very useful technique for you. So next up, I have my bleach bypass. So bleach bypass actually gives a very solid look, which is not what I'm going for. So I'm just going to turn that off and I'm not going to do any look at all also. So for the other creative looks, I'm also not going to touch that. And noise reduction, halation, film grain, I'm also not going to touch that. So it's basically something like this. But okay, so let me tell you a secret. Usually if you're seeing silver, it's not pure gray. So if you want a very nice silver, you can add a little bit blue into the silver to create a very softer look. So right now it's a little bit warm. So I'm going to go into my look node and then let's just drop the temperature over here. Let's just drop it to maybe negative 120. Is that good enough? Let's drop it down a bit more. 100. I would say right about here is where I want to go. So it's a very soft look. One more thing that I want to correct is back into the primaries. And let's just lift up the tint a little bit more. Just a tip. And there you go, you get a very light, very soft commercial look in just a few notes. So this is for the first clip. And I also have a second clip here. Let's just copy over from the first clip and then see what we want to change. All right. So in this clip, yeah, I'm seeing a lot more green in the background over here. So let's go into our hue where we can drop down the greens a bit more. Let's see. 
you can also put your qualifier onto the viewer and then click down so you can see where that specific color is so it's right around here so i'm going to drop it down a bit more i'm not going to go into the orange range because that is going to be affecting her skin tone yep something like this and maybe in the look we can raise the temperature up a little bit because it's looking a little bit too blue all right so the saturation is also a little bit too much over here so i'm going to go back into my primaries and then dropping down the saturation by a bit let's say 35 would do yep right around there and there you go very clean commercial look so i might also go into my real light and increase it a little bit by moving it forward and we like left also a little bit more oh yeah before i forget you you should also retract your focus node like this let's put it on a face something like this and then go into a tracker and then track on her face yep very clean commercial look from the first clip to the second clip yeah so another correction that i'm seeing is maybe we want to add a little bit of uh, brightening to this area because it's a little bit dark compared to the first clip so let's do that in my secondaries over here where i can go and create another power window and let's make a very soft one increase size and then using my gain wheel going to increase the brightness a little bit yep something like that and then let's track that too yep don't have to be too clean just want it to match so from this shot going over to this shot yeah so these are two commercial clips done easily so thank you guys for watching i know this is kind of a quick one but it's on the basis that you have watched my previous video on my visionary power grades because i'm going to use this power grade for all my future projects and tutorials so that we can move even faster like in this episode so hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye